Hey guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a, a Blu-ray hunt today. I was meant to go to Westfield, um, but they've got train strikes today, so no chance of going to Westfield. It'll take bloody ages on the buses. So I've decided to rethink and go to the West End to go to FOP in Covent Garden and have a look at what they've got down there. Um, so yeah, so heading to the Northern Line there. Hopefully that's all running though smoothly. And then uh, about 35 minutes should be in uh, the West End. Nice little park there. Okay, so let's... Uh, Move on to the next part of this vlog, when that may be, guys. Just on the good old northern line now. Seems all to be good, all running today. So let's hope the next part of the journey is as smooth as this one. Carriage is a bit empty at the moment, as we would like to see. So here now in the West End, just gonna take a little detour by Chinatown, see what's happening down there, and then head up to Fop in about 10 minutes, guys. I'll speak to you in a minute. And this is where I normally get lost. I always take the wrong turn. To turn right down here, so I always get confused and walk up this bloody road here. Too long. Have a little look, when you head to pop, you go inside, have a little look, and see what deals they've got. Here's a quick look at their Shameless and Redemption sets. Had to edit over this because they had music on in the background and obviously they want any copyright strikes. Um, so yeah, had some horror sections there. They expanded the soundtrack section, which was nice. So I picked up three soundtracks and then this is where I got um, Bull and they had some nice little deals here as well, guys. So picked up a few things in there, got um, three soundtracks and brought um, a second sight film actually, I forgot what I bloody brought and I can't remember the name of what I bought, Bull, that's what I brought, I brought Bull in there. I was going to get um, Tangerine and I was going to get um, Boiling Point, um, but I didn't bother them, I held off with them just for a little bit longer. So I'm going to head down to Forbidden Planet now uh, and have a look in there. Um, didn't do too much filming in there because they had the music on and obviously you get copyright strikes and everything like that and it was a little bit busy in there so I didn't want to be filming people and don't really want to be filmed um, but yeah so not a bad little haul so far and uh, on to uh, Forbidden Planet now This was downstairs with their reduced section. Books were $9.99, $4.99 and $2.99. So plenty of good deals there, but I did pass on them because I couldn't carry the weight. <laughs> hey guys, so I've got here about 10.45, done now. I'm going to be heading back home soon. But one thing I did notice, didn't do too much filming on the streets. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of homeless people around here. Um, the various reasons for that, you know, um, can't judge anybody, but uh, yeah, there was a lot. And it uh, made me realize how fortunate I am. I tell you, really, I mean, how fortunate I am. But um, yeah, there was a few a few sites this morning that you know made me uh, think that yeah, there's always someone worse off than us. Let me tell you. But anyway, there's part of the West End, guys. So you've got the Miz, and then you go down to Theatreland down there. What I thought was Hannibal Lecter up there is not. <laughs> and that's heading down towards Soho Way. So let's have another little stroll. Oh, my fingers are in the way. There you go, the Miz. And then heading down to uh, Theatreland, as they call it. And that's heading down to Soho. And that's your Chinatown. I'll take a stroll down there in a minute, see what's going on. Back in the... Uh, here we go, back in the 70s and 80s and early 90s, the Raymond Review Bar. Soho had changed a hell of a lot. A lot of things going on down here. It's not what it used to be, but uh, that's just the state of play. But yeah, Rovim Review Bar, that used to be massive in the 70s and 80s, even in the 60s. And this is where you go for, um, yeah, it's all sorts of things, shall we say, all sorts of things. And back in the day, Waxy O'Connor's was a place I used to hang out a lot. I spent many a night when I walked out, well, walked out there, crawled out there many a night. Let me tell you, nice place. So this is Leicester Square. There's a Lego shop there, look at the queue for that. Forget about that. And then you've got Christmas in Leicester Square. And it's marked. Here was the M&M shop. Um, that was quite busy on the inside as always. And then there was someone busking here, so I had to edit over the music again because of a copyright strike. And you don't want that on you. Um, and then you can see Leicester Square itself, just a few bits going on there. And then here we had the IMAX, the Empire Casino. So that's quite a good place to come watch a movie. Uh, I remember watching Back to the Future 2, I think, in there on New Year's Eve. 
And here we have the Odeon Leicester Square, which again, I've been in there a few times and that is a really nice cinema. And um, good to see them all still going as well. And here is the Prince Charles Cinema, which is pretty good because they have a habit of showing a lot of old films. And um, yeah, I just did a little vlog of this one as well while I was down there. They've got a Michael Mann marathon coming up, which would be amazing to watch. But they do show a lot of films from the 80s and 90s there, um, which is always a good evening. Should have used this one for my Christmas message, but I didn't realise until today. And this is Chinatown. This has changed a lot. It's still has a good buzz to it and over there is the Curzon cinema this is the Chinatown the main thoroughfare um, yeah it's still a good buzz but it's changed a lot over the years you get cars coming through that's your Chinatown then over there they've got like a little market stores bakeries and everything It's a bit like the old uh, American Wealth in London vibes. <coughs> minus all the people, of course, minus all the people. So I thought I might as well show you while I'm at the underground station of Kingston. What I picked up, so I picked up Bull, I picked up Mondo Kane, Goblin soundtrack, um, to Fundor or so, and the Zero Boys for eight pounds. So yeah, they were my pickups. I'll do some unboxing to them later on. But that literally is it. I'm looking forward to growing. I've heard good things about that. Um, and you can't go wrong with the second time. But that's it, guys. So, I'll uh, spice this all together and release this later on today. Thanks for watching.